بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay so this is what about private and public ips so we need to understand the differences the private and public now the next thing we need to know how to identify the private address so the private address is very very uh, private pri public addresses are very uh, very uh, there are plenty of public addresses so basically we'll be memor memorizing the private ip range so this is the private ip range this is a public ip range so i generally recommend to remember the private ip range like in the a class we have a range from 1 to 126 of course 0 and 127 i cannot use so which means total there are 126 networks out of this 126 networks there is only one network which is private which means any address starting with 10 so whenever you see any address starting with 10 you have to understand it is a private address so there is one private and remaining 125 networks are public like 1 to 9 and 11 to 126 so remaining 125 networks are public so don't remember public range i recommend i recommend you to remember the private ip range so only 10 starting with 10 is your private address remaining all are public similar way in the b class you get almost around 16000 subnets in that there are only 16 subnets are private like from 128 to 191 you can see 128 to this address range you get 16000 subnets in that only 16 subnets are private 16 means 170 to 16 dot uh, anything 17 dot network 18 dot network 19 up to 31 so if you see any address range in this range like 170 to 16 to 170 to 31 this is your private ip range in b class Uh, all the remaining like 128 dot 129 dot or anything up to 172 to 15 these are all your public and from 32 to till 191 all are public so just remember this range any address starting from 172 to 16 to 172 to 31 that is what you have to remember or memorize so similar way in c class there are plenty like 192.0 to you know this may range so any address starting with 192 to 6 to 168 is your private address so which means you can write one dot network two dot network three dot network four dot network up to 255 so the main thing you need to remember is any address with 192 to 168 total there are 256 networks which are private if you count all 0.0, .0 also comes in this so zero dot network so out of a uh, bigger range you know that mean networks whatever you have in the c class only 256 networks are private and how to identify or remember 192 to 168 is a uh, something you can remember this so any address with 192 to 168 is your private network in c class anything from 172 to 16 to 172 to 31 is private and anything with 10 is your private network in a class So let's see some of the examples here uh, to understand whether they are private or public. So see the first portion 209. 209 is in the C class. So in the C class, anything with 190 to 168 is private, which means this is your public address. Now similar way, if you take 190 to 168, so it's a C class address. So this is your private IP address. 190 to 168. and it is an a class in a class anything with 10 is your private address and in b class 172 to 30 30 31 right till 31 so this is your private address and this is c class 192 to comes under c class so 192 to 31 so in c class 192 to 168 is private which means this is your public address this is public address actually 192 to 31 because this is actually a public address so this is not correct so 192.31 is your uh, public address 192.168 just see this and then this is b class and b class anything between 172.16 to 31 so this is 16 and 30 this is private address right so this is wrong 
So just you can uh, correct these things if it is wrong. As I said, this is your private address. And 128, 128 means it's a, you can see this range is your public address. And then 192, 135, this is your public address. Because again, this is wrong, this is wrong. And 192, 168, 192, you know, is private, remaining all are public. And similar to 64 is A class, this is your public address, right? So just remember the ranges. Now based on the range, we need to uh, easily should be, ident should be in a position to identify whether that particular address comes in which class, whether it is in a A class, B class, C class, and then based on that, we can categorize whether they are private or public.